Welcome back to 5-Minute Photo, where in the next 5 minutes, we'll talk about a product or a technique that will enhance your photography. I'm Bill Ferris. Thank you for watching. In this video, we are going to unbox Tamron's SP 70-200mm to f2.8 DIVC USD zoom lens. Let's get the clock started. All right, so why the Tamron lens? Well, recently I purchased a Nikon D600 camera body. For me, this is an upgrade. For years, I've been shooting with Nikon's D90 DX format camera body, a 12 megapixel camera body. The D600 is a 24 megapixel camera body with much better low light performance than the D90. It's a full frame camera body as well. And so with this new camera body, I needed to upgrade to lenses compatible with that full frame sensor. Of course, within the Nikon line of lenses, there are just a whole collection of outstanding optics from which to choose, including three sometimes referred to as the Holy Trinity. Nikon's 14 to 24, 24 to 70, and 70 to 200 zoom lenses, all maintaining a wide open aperture of f2.8 throughout their zoom ranges. They're outstanding optically, built like tanks for the professional, have a tremendous reputation. They're also priced accordingly. At $1,499, the Tamron lens is not cheap, not in any sense of the word, but it is still $1,000 or more less expensive than the equivalent Nikon 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And based on what I have researched and seen and read on the web, delivers outstanding optical performance. So let's open the box and get a look at this Tamron lens. So while I'm opening the box, I'll just mention that while this lens has a reputation for being optically outstanding, it doesn't come with all the niceties of, say, the equivalent Nikon lens. For instance, it does not come with a lens bag or a lens case. This is the literature, the Tamron information about the lens. And here's the lens itself. I'm going to take the packaging off, put the packaging back in the box, and put the box off to the side. So while we're pulling the lens out of the bag, let's talk about the alphabet soup. SP stands for Super Performance. That's Tamron's nomenclature for their premium optical quality lenses. DI, digitally integrated. These lenses are designed specifically for today's modern DSLR camera bodies. This is the lens hood. We'll go ahead and take it out of the bag. You can have a look at that. It looks to be about four inches in length at the wide end. <clears throat> VC, vibration compensation. While shooting handheld, you can engage the vibration compensation on this lens and gain about three stops of steadiness. Uh, and so in a low light situation at f2.8, it's 200 millimeter focal length range. Being able to shoot handheld is sometimes absolutely essential. Uh, and that vibration compensation really comes in handy. Finally, USD, ultrasonic silent drive. This is Tamron's, again, their nomenclature for their silent autofocus drive system. And here's the lens. Uh, you can see the length. It's uh, about 11, 12 inches in length and feels really solid in the hand. Uh, this is a lens. It's got metal construction all throughout. The zoom and focus rings are rubberized. The zoom ring has a very smooth, silky motion, not too loose, not too tight. Also notice all the zooming happens internally within the lens. There's no telescoping in and out of that front element. Here are the, here's the vibration control. It's in the off position now. And here's autofocus and manual control switch. When in autofocus, which this lens in, is in now, you can immediately, instantaneously, manually override it by adjusting the manual focus ring. Let's get a weight on this lens. So I've got a digital scale over here. I'm just going to get a weight on it, see how heavy it is. So three pounds, five ounces. So we're looking at 53 ounces of metal and glass. And it's, it's heavy, but it's solidly built. And all that glass indicates that, well, 
This is a lens designed to give you outstanding performance throughout the zoom range, throughout the aperture range. Let's uh, take off the back cap, the D600 body cap, and mount the lens to the body. One thing I'd like you to know is check this out. I've got the, I'm just holding the lens at the foot of the tripod mounting ring. And it's balanced pretty well. It's heavy, no question about that, but it's balanced very well. And so I I'm really looking forward to shooting with this lens. And the next time we see it, the next video we do, we'll, we'll get the 70 to 200 out with the D600, take a few shots and see what we think about the image quality. This has been 5-Minute Photo. I'm Bill Ferris. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.